They would literally strip the shelves of everything within a matter of seconds. A major organized retail theft crew busted by Bellevue police, accused of stealing more than a half a million dollars worth of luxury apparel and activewear from Lululemon and other retailers all over western Washington. At least 42 stores were targeted. Tonight, a major win for retailers, law enforcement, and shoppers fed up with prolific thieves caught on camera stripping the shelves. They stroll in like regular shoppers, then scramble out lugging bags filled and arms full of stolen goods. These ladies would come in, they would immediately select a number of items, high value clothing from different retailers, Lululemon, Nordstrom, uh, Macy's, and then they would immediately exit and leave. In court documents, Bellevue Detective Jeff Christensen detailed their crime spree, hitting Lululemon stores from Bellingham to Bellevue and from Tukwila to Tacoma as well as stores throughout the greater Portland area, stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of active wear. We're talking about over a half million dollars worth of merchandise. And what that really translates to is increased costs for consumers. Bellevue police say thieves often sell the merchandise for 30 cents on the dollar. Oftentimes, the suspects would wear uh, burkas or other baggy clothing that they were able to either uh, hide the items in, bring reusable bags, even garbage bags that they would fill completely full with these items. Sometimes doing it with regular shoppers just feet away. With every theft, loss prevention officers at Lululemon documented the video, working closely with Bellevue police to identify three suspects. Two of them were arrested last year in Glendale, California. 18-year-old Reality Levens from Renton and 24-year-old Janice Downs, who along with 26-year-old Memory Yearby, are accused of stealing $30,000 worth of high-end bags. On Tuesday, Bellevue police arrested Downs and her mother at their home on 223rd place in Kent. Detectives say they located clothing worn during the thefts, one of the cars used, and three assault-style rifles. What is interesting to note is that the suspects are actually convicted felons, so they're prohibited from possessing firearms. When Janice, who also calls herself Punchy, made her first appearance in court, the prosecutor detailed multiple counts of organized retail theft. The first one will be August 8th, 2023, at the Bellevue location for the event in the amount of $4,348. The state asking for $750,000 bail, arguing that she has multiple prior convictions and is a flight risk, pointing out she had a plane ticket to Arizona for the same day as her arrest. This is repeated behavior. This is happening again and again. There's no reason to believe that if released, that behavior will change and she will suddenly stop committing those crimes. Downs' defense attorney arguing that Janice has strong ties to the community. She's here with a lot of support, so I don't think that she's going to flee. And we would ask that a more reasonable bail on these um, allegations uh, be ordered. Uh, we're asking bail $10,000. Judge Rhonda Lawman setting her bail at $250,000, an amount challenged in a surprise appearance. I just want to remind you of the Affordable Bill Act because she clearly doesn't have a job or anything else of that matter. That's Janice's mom, Janice Wiley, her co-defendant, who wasn't booked after her arrest on Tuesday because of health issues. She wanted her daughter freed as well. I understand, you know, like the seriousness of the crime, but I mean, for property crimes, $250,000, she has a child that she's the sole provider of. Judge Lawman didn't budge. The high bail and an in-depth police investigation that clearly puts thieves on notice. This sends a message that if you come to Bellevue to steal things, we're going to track you down no matter where you live and hold you accountable. And Bellevue police aren't done. Detectives are working on a fourth suspect. If Janice Downs does make that quarter million dollar bail, detectives say she's also facing charges in Snohomish, Pierce, Whatcom, and Oregon. The feds are also looking closely at this theft ring, and they may file federal charges.